Welcome back. Hour number three. It's Monday. That means it's time for our Fukushima and environmental update with Yoshi Shimatsu, who is back in Thailand, and Dana Dernford, who is up in British Columbia. Dana, hello. Welcome back. How are you? Good. Thank you, Jeff. Good. And uh, Yoshi, you're uh, at some kind of an outdoor market there having a, a late afternoon uh, supper, right? Uh, uh, no, far from it. Just looking at the Internet, as I've been following this story about this oh. fellow. Yeah. Or con, the, uh, or what do we want to do? Uh, what we want, hold on a sec. Trump, yeah, uh, Dana, yeah. what I want right. to do is spend a few minutes with Yoshi on this story, and I'd like to get your take on it, too, because you're getting Muslims in Canada as well. But this is a real outrageous uh, situation that uh, Yoshi covered in a, a brilliant paper, opened the door. Several other very important pieces of material are up at rents right now, exposing this whole operation. Go ahead, uh, Yoshi. Tell us more about this yeah, yeah, con artist. Uh, well, you know, papers online, too, can read about it. Of course, I use more journalistic caution there. Yeah. But some things I can say is that uh, this fellow lives in Charlottesville, Virginia, and Virginia is Tim Kaine's state, and Tim Kaine has been associated with uh, charities, Muslim charities that are linked to the Muslim Brotherhood. And if you recall 9-11, uh, we were given this cock and bull story. At the time, I was, in, I was in Pakistan on the Afghan border before 9-11 and after 9-11, found no trace at all of al-Qaeda's links to the New York and Washington attacks, nothing at all. It was absolutely nothing. I talked to Taliban officials, you know, when, I, I don't know how many dozens of people I talked to, absolutely no link, and it was pinned on Osama bin Laden, but it was actually the people who were aboard those planes were members of the Muslim Brotherhood, okay, <laughs> and operating in the southern states and all that. And it turns out that since Obama's been elected president, okay, in 2008, uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, has been a resettlement center for Muslim refugees from Somalia. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is a pretty rough country. Somalia, Bosnia, after the Bosnian War, and Iraq, after the Iraq War. And uh, it was uh, some uh, tough people. Guys. Yeah. Tough, tough guys. Okay. These are not like your average little huddled mass refugees like your Italian grand, you know, right. grandparents or anything like that. Nothing like that, okay? These are, this is a whole different breed of cat we're talking about. And they were sent by the International Rescue Committee, which has basically been under the control since its very beginning. It's based in Switzerland. It's under control of the CIA. Yeah. So this was a yeah. deliberate CIA operation to pack it in. Uh, his son, the soldier was in the Army because he wanted a scholarship from the Army, a GI Bill sort of thing, to go to the University of Virginia. It turns out the University of Virginia is one of the radical Muslim centers in the United States. A lot of professors are, you know, uh, 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 you know, they tutor for Muslim students. Some of them are Muslims themselves. Oh, really? The so UV, UV is really a front for Vir Virginistan. I got it. Virginistan, you got it. And then yeah. also I just found out that... Uh, the place was selected because there's this guy called Nuruddin uh, Durki. is actually Stephen Durki, uh, sort of a famous hippie character. But he became a Sufi Muslim scholar, very much like this guy Gulen in Pennsylvania. Huh. Sets up a compound right. outside Charlottesville where he's brainwashing all sorts of Americans. It's really a cult thing. You know, he was with a Tibetan cult. Uh, Kalu Rinpoche, his teacher. Uh, I know that guy very well. Old uh, Tibetan monk. He was the one behind the POA, the, uh, what they call the uh, religion sanctified assassination theory. Hmm. Uh, Kalarin Poche was the guru for the Om Shin Rikyo cadets that were in Dharamsala uh, planning the Tokyo subway gas. It goes all the way like back to I'm that. Wow. Uh, it, it goes way back further than that. Anyway, so, uh, so this guy Durki, Stephen Durki, Nuruddin Durki, is there also in Charlottesville, Central Virginia. So, and this mm -hmm. is like a major fi funding center for uh, Tim Kaine uh, when he was governor, senator, and now vice presidential campaign. And so, this guy Khan, he's apparent. He he's really a dodgy character. Uh, he's from Pakistan, but he was in Saudi Arabia and in Dubai at the time, just before and after uh, uh, Zulfikar Ali. Yeah. Bhutto was murdered. He was uh, Bhutto was a populist, uh, you know, uh, uh, prime minister, 
He was yeah. overthrown in a coup by General Zia al Hook. Okay, yes. and immediately yeah. al Hook launched the war uh, against the Soviets. You know, in Afghanistan, and uh, there was this huge brouhaha about this. You know, the state of Israel was there, and guess who else is sent in there? Osama bin Laden is sent into Afghanistan at that point. Mm -hmm. So we got a, a person who comes right out of the core jihadist movement then, this guy Khan. And he's an immigration... He, he, he probably guy. knew them all, absolutely. He was all... Well, he, he, wrote, was, he, wrote, he wrote the law theory on Sharia law, the acceptability of Sharia law, the preferability of Sharia law. Okay, nobody as, knows as this as it, except you and you put it in your... Yeah, you're, you're presenting the material. Nobody okay, knows this. This was in that other site by those two Palestinian brothers, the Walid Chubat. Uh, they they were okay, they, they, okay. They showed all right. That's where I saw there, it. Okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. There's no doubt about this. This guy is a militant, radical Islamist. He went to Harvard. This is another time at the outbreak of the of the war. Okay, the uh, the war in Afghanistan, uh, where the jihadists also uh, took on the Soviet Union. He's accepted in Harvard, and guess who's planted there? Harvard. Henry Kissinger, of course. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the Reagan here. Henry Kissinger, protege training this guy, hmm. so the CIA then and the Pentagon get their core, the radical Islamists, who are their great buddies, okay? And he's part of that whole team at Harvard, comes out, starts a law office in New York, which is supposedly right near the Waldorf Astoria, not uh -huh. the cheapest rent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he goes down to Charlottesville, which is, and he's a, he calls himself a legal advisor. In other words, he's a counselor for illegal immigrants coming in. He's all, dealing in, yeah, pa on. pathway to citizenship and all that crap. Listen, this guy has all the yeah. earmarks of a major CIA Muslim player. Well, what's uh, what's really worrisome, you know, Kim Philby, the, the British traitor, right, yeah. sold out to Russia, yeah. Yeah. he was originally an Arabist, you know, he was a Muslim. You know? I, I mean, didn't you know that. you got to understand what yeah. these people are made out of. So they're out to destroy Western Christian society, Okay. And what better place to do that somewhere like a border state like Virginia, right in striking range of Washington, D.C.? Yeah? yeah? So this absolutely. is a major hub. I, I, th I think this is very dangerous. I think they've got Tim Kaine is obviously recruited, is on their payroll, probably under their mind control. You know, they use hashish and all kinds of enticements, you know, of sexual enticements to get these guys under. Hillary, obviously is on some sort of drug program under some sort of control. She's got, she's got millions, I mean, hundreds of millions from the uh, Emir of Qatar. You know, he's, he's the guy who's behind all of these radical groups, the, the funder of ISIS, okay, al-Nusra, al-Qaeda. All, comes, all comes through Qatar. She's uh. on the same damn payroll as ISIS and al-Nusra and al-Qaeda. No, Hillary great. Clinton, she's a jihadist. Terrific. Okay, let's get that very, very clear. She's a jihadist. And uh, what's happening in America under the Democrat campaign is a coup d'etat against the Republic. O Obama took it the ball as far as he could past the 50-yard line for them, okay? And if you notice under the Obama administration, how many high-placed Muslims who did not start as dishwashers, okay, who came were installed into management posts in government, corporations, state governments, Municipal. How many of them have been coming in in the last year? People got to look around, add things up. What is going on? There's a coup going on, and you got to understand these guys have every reason to put uh, to exact revenge on America, American people, and the American vets who are defending his son better wake up. There's, there's a funny story about his son. Okay, I write about he's a military intelligence officer, right. not an infantryman. His death occurred because he was supposedly inspecting. Some uh, local hirees, he's paying them $5 a day to, uh, you know, guard the gates of the camp in Bakuba, where there are yeah. weapons of mass destruction provided by the U.S. Yeah. that he covered up. I was involved in the cover-up of weapons of mass destruction provided by Donald Rumsfeld to Saddam Hussein, one of his, uh, this uh, wonderful Muslim patriot here. Okay? This is what he's doing. Then a car passes the painted line. Okay? Two people are in the car. Mm -hmm. He tells his troops to back off. They go, you know, to back off. He goes alone without a gun to the car, walking up to it, and the bomb goes off. Now, what really happened? What does that mean? Uh, I think anyone who's been in Iraq knows what it means. He was an intelligence officer in charge of all these informants that he was recruiting, okay, uh, for both information 
on on the on Saddam Hussein on his on his group, and also to get them to win them over to the American occupation to, to sell out their country. Obviously, the, the passenger in that car was the reason he was there. He had an appointment to meet one of his. Hey, he knew he knew the guy, of course. He knew the guy. That's why you walked up the car. But sure. the Iraqi uh, Republican Guard. You know, this is cat and mouse, right? This is a fair game. You know, there's no such thing as morality or patriotism or anything in these games. It's you against the other guy. It's a deadly game of chess, and the loser loses. You know, I, I used to do judo when I was young. He did the throw, and the Iraqis did the counter throw, and huh. they took him out. He uh -huh. lost. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. so, so I don't think huh. this was a great act of patriotism. This is an you know, act of, uh, of uh, basically military aggression and the illegal war against Iraq. Right. This was his personal pride all wrapped up in recruiting these guys, and it was his mistake, his stupidity. Very well uh, summed up. There's nothing wrong with that. And Yoshi was there in Pakistan. He knows the yeah. people. This guy was clearly yeah, exactly. a player, and they probably viewed him as a, uh, a traitor to Islam, and they took him out. Simple. Well, they, he, you know, well, the thing is, at the time, the radical Muslims were supporting the war effort to get rid of uh, Saddam, because they wanted to install a radical regime, a they radical the Sunni regime. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So, uh, what the Shubats say, that he was one of the 14, 14 Islamists in the U.S. there, at least. I, 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 don't, I don't think the thing of exaggeration or something. It sort of me, but it does make sense. Huh. They definitely were planning people in the U.S. military, U.S. And, 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 and we do know, look at the rendition program, look at Pentagon intelligence. There are Arabs, Muslims, Pakistanis, all over the place, okay? Okay? So the guys who are tapping your phone are probably Muslims, yeah? So, and I'm Mr. Tolerance. I used to be a refugee resettlement pro, uh, 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 you know, officer. When the Vietnamese were coming over, the Indo-Chinese were coming. I have huh. total sympathy with real huh. refugees. Sure, yeah, yeah. But I have zero sympathy for an invasion. A these are political. Invasion these are politically motivated. This is an invading army. This is not a refugee exactly. thing at all. They're not migrants. Come on. This is an, an invasion well, is of Western warfare. civilization. They, this is clandestine warfare, and I swear, they, 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 they turned around the CIA. I think the CIA and probably a lot of arms of defense intelligence are now on the Saudi side. They're not well, we got, side. was it Brennan is uh, supposedly a Muslim? No, there's no definitive proof of that, but there's yeah, enough absolutely. to suspect that he is. Absolutely. He's certainly exactly sympathetic. Exactly what I said about Kim Philby. Look for the moles. Yeah? Look for the moles. They're there converts, these guys. Wow. They've been over there. It's like the Crusaders who went over, right? Mm -hmm. The Crusaders who went over yeah. and then all became Muslim, right? And yeah. They tried to kill the Pope. Right? Yeah, I, I got Same a story Pope. here. 90% of young Italians said that they would convert to Islam if it became a necessary thing to do in their country. It's nuts. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, people, well, this is, you know, the thing about Virginia, it's sort of like on the edge of the Bible Belt. I think people there have uh, got to figure out what's going on. Uh, Virginia is, is, is right close to the American capital, striking range. Uh, the, the U.S. Army recruited so many Muslims as translates uh, analysts. Uh, the place is packed with people with, you know, military skills, surveillance skills, psychological skills, and we got civilian populations there. And Charlottesville, by the gun control, the city so just gave a award to this guy, Kyron, okay? Because it said, you know, he's a great American, the city council, okay? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, the, the Assembly of Virginia is so worried about what's happening there, they voted they voted that uh, sanctuary cities, and Charlottesville is one of them, cannot dictate foreign policy. They cannot uh, block immigration officers from going in there. Immigration officers cannot go into Charlottesville without being stopped by the city council, the local police, and all that. Uh -huh. It's a safe zone for mm -hmm. Muslim, for mm -hmm. Muslims, you know? It's a safe zone. And uh, very, very con I mean, this thing has gone far beyond. You know, I would have, I would have, last week I would have said this would be a horrible fantasy, paranoid fantasy. Now, we've seen this guy sitting right next to Hillary Clinton on the night of her nomination. There with his control, uh, you know, his yeah, robot. Absolutely. Thing. Yep, no accident is right there. It's in our face. They don't, yeah. They're not hiding this stuff anymore. It's right there. No, they just no, know no, the public can't add it up. They know we can't put yeah, it they, together. Get ready. 
This is the face of the new multicultural America. Get on your knees on that rug and bow toward Mecca. Wow. And I'm not anti-Muslim. Yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time in Pakistan. You know, I've talked to guys in Taliban. Now you're talking about political reality here. I understand. It's, it's, it you is what it is. by the elites, by the petrodollar yeah. elite who've been sucking off of American, uh, you know, people who own cars in America, fuel, gasoline prices. Yeah. So it's a whole different class of people. This guy is one of their agents involved in the coup in Pakistan. A brutal coup. Thousands of people died. Uh, the war in Afghanistan. Right. Osama bin Laden's adventure. He went through Dubai, too. Osama was in Dubai. This guy probably knows Osama. I bet he knows Osama. Well, I suggested earlier he was right in the middle of all of it. He may know them all or may have met he them all. There, of course, right there in Dubai. It wasn't a large place then. Everyone knows everyone else. He was part of mm -hmm. the operation, writing the chapters the, the paper, the dissertation on Sharia law, okay? He has to know Osama bin Laden in his circle. There's no doubt about it. And so we, she's sitting there with Al-Qaeda, okay? He, wow. He's not just an innocent little guy. He's one of the masterminds of this mm -hmm. whole operation mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. at, at Har Harvard. You know, oh, I think he's, he's a player. He's a big-time player. You're totally right. A major he's player. In the community. He's got no friggin' record at all, okay? So he's in the intelligence community, and we know. Now, how did Brennan and all get recruited, right? They're all in the intelligence community. They're watching you and me, but who's watching them, the intelligence guys? Who's watching the CIA, okay? That's what I'm asking, okay? And now we're coming on a Muslim coup in the United States of America. Not that I mean, America screwed up, made huge mistakes in the Muslim. I was the first guy that said, don't come to Afghanistan. I, I wrote, I was a, the only reporter out of thousands. He said, don't come here. Yeah, these guys want a war. They want to be heroes. Mm -hmm. Don't come here. It makes mm -hmm. sense. It has nothing to do with 9-11. So wow. it's not like I'm anti. I'm not, you know, not anti-Muslim fanatic by any means. Uh, by, no. I'm not a crusader by any means. No, there, as, no, as, as we I'm talked saying. about, in the first, we had a first hour tonight with Tim Refat. Yeah. His father was a Muslim, yeah. a Turk, yeah. uh, and he knows. Yeah. He, he said, look, their belief system to their very core is completely yeah. antithetical to Western civilization, cultures, mores, you name it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They will never assimilate. He said their whole thing no. is to kill infidels. They believe that. Yeah. They're raised with it. They're going to die with it. He said they don't care. It might cost them 100 million Muslims, he said, but they're going to win. They're, this is an invasion. Yeah. He said they're not going to stop. Now, this fellow, Stephen Nurdin Durki, he is a master of Illuminism. He's Illuminati. Oh, yeah, right. Illuminati. Yeah. And this is why the Jewish press is so much supporting these Muslim fanatics. The one thing that puts them together is Illuminism. Just like Gul uh, this is Gulen, you know, up in, uh, in uh, why he's just distrusted by the Turkish government is because the, 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 uh, the, the, both religions, the, the, the Judaic religion mm -hmm. and the Muslim religion, there are elements who believe in cooperation around this idea of illumination. Okay? So, so Durkee is one of them. Huh. Uh, this, this whole thing's got to be looked at. It is a real threat. <sighs> Who's going to look at it, Yoshi? Well, at least there's a Donald Trump in the race who's not buying their baloney. Yeah, yeah I, think Don, I, think, I think Donald Trump... I think Donald Trump knows a lot more than he'll ever let on. He's going to hold it off. Yeah. And if he gets elected, then we'll find out just how smart the guy yeah. is. He turned down that well, trip. Out, out. Yeah, yeah. He rejected out, yeah. the well, trip to Israel. Trump's a racist and all that. I said, I, I, I've met Trump before in New York. He's a New Yorker. You know, mm -hmm. everyone like that. You know, you, you know, people call you by whatever, you know. But yeah. it doesn't mean they hate you. It's just a, it's just New York. It's a place where it's rough and tumble. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. Let me get a comment from Dana about all this uh, Dana, it's not exactly Fukushima radiation. It's another kind of uh, national worldwide toxicity. We have a war, another invasion of the West by Islam. This has happened in history before. This isn't the first time. Have you ever uh, read uh, Art of War? No, a long time ago. Parts of it, long time ago. That explains a lot what's going on tonight, but... Uh, Khan, his son was a um, suicide bomber, right? He died in Iraq. And that's what he was doing, basically, being a suicide bomber. Except he just, he never blew himself up. He blew everything else up. And you got 5 million orphans in Afghanistan, so a lot of them have grown up 
you know. Oh, there's no continues. shortage of uh, suicide bombers. Never. Right. They can, can keep can't coming. Help, I mean, how many suicide bombers does it take to equal a battleship or an airplane from the military or whatever the case may be? Mm-hmm. They should go up and be pilots instead of suicide bombers. And, I mean, we got millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps. Well, I think that's and coming. So, so kamikaze here in America, attacks are coming with small planes. I think that's for sure. I mean, if you took one jet fighter, it doesn't equal all the suicide bombers. No. But it's close to it. You wait, <laughs> you know, you wait, you wait that's and just see. one pilot. They're going to take a twin engine or a single engine plane. They're going to pack it with C4. They're going to fly it into a nuclear power plant or whatever they want. That's coming. Or they're going to use drones. Or, oh, no, that's not what I'm saying. Just call Lang- yeah, they can just call Langley and get, a, get four flights out, you know, to cover for their <laughs> job. You know, I mean, it's that simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> how many, <laughs> they how many suicide to get bombers does they get big to, yeah. Equal B-52. Right. You know, like what we've done to those countries, what, what do we expect to happen? Oh, absolutely. We, but I've been saying that like you guys have for 20 years. Stay the hell out of there. Yeah. What are we doing there? Yes. Well, then we went to, we done it in Afghanistan, 5 million orphans. I mean, we raped 290,000 of our own in a 10 yeah. year period. How many did we rape there? How many people? I mean, if you come in and rape my country, my community, yeah. Uh, yeah. you're going to have someone on, on your case for a long time. And why should we expect that to be any different, whether it was Russia or China or Muslim or whoever the case may be? But, you know, this, this is the machine right now. If you go, like, I spent all day today looking up uh, munitions for different weapons, for the tanks, for the helicopters, for uh-huh. the drones, for the robots. And these people are falling asleep while the, the munitions are coming and pass them in the factory and they're just bored out of their mind because this machine has been running for a very long time and it runs very smooth. Those machines don't break down very often. These are depleted uranium rounds? Right, true. I mean, in Fallujah, 84% of the babies are born with no arms, no face, no Yeah, they're eyeballs. totally defected, oriented. Totally cuddly, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh, God. Oh. And, and, but, I mean... Did, Fallujah, Fallujah is and, the city and, of the damned. And we're surprised, we're shocked when someone blows himself up. Big whoop, who cares? I couldn't care less. Uh, it's, at least it's not a jet fighter. At least they haven't got jets. At least they haven't got tanks. At least they haven't got battleships off the coastline. Not yet. At least they ain't dropping it from satellites and everything else. At least they're not carrying out electronic warfare against the country. Uh, in the context of, see, I, I, I just don't see it. Uh, we can do this forever. And who's next? We, well, we got rid of the biggest population down there uh, in all those countries. Syria got 7 million refugees. And then they throw them in our countries as a big distraction and as a way to bankrupt the country. And so the war has always been on us anyway to get our young and send them off to kill everything and come back and kill themselves. I mean, 80,000 dead in 10 years. The military, the, the whole history of it and everything about it is just mongrels and savages and they dress up and look good and they shave every day, big whoop. Uh, but these are animals. These will go in and rape the entire country and then they'll march right back through the country again. Uh, you know, the, and then the politicians got us divided, and then you got a, a Muslim on stand uh, at the DNC talking about how his son died for greatness. Yeah. What greatness? Yeah. What What is he talking about? What? That was such a such a uh, disgusting, insulting, uh, politically correct kind of a of. Uh, it was grotesque, and yeah. the guy the guy had nothing to say. Yeah, it is scary to have a Bin Laden man lecturing America about the Constitution. I mean, that's just, just astounding, and Hillary. Shows, but one, yeah. but one, thing, one thing, Dana, you yeah. know, they, they are just using suicide bombs now, but when Hillary becomes commander, oh, just wait. they'll have all yeah. the weapons they need to dominate the whole world. That's right. Yeah. So no question. It's the weapons None. manufacturing we should yeah. be going after and yelling about and yeah. screaming about. And the people that are buying shares in those corporations and those companies and facilitating stuff like this. They're going to keep cutting off heads as fast as they can. Chop, 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 They're not going to switch chop, it off until we switch it off. we got to switch it off. That's, they're not going to give it up any day of the week. Uh, they're never no. going to give it up. Not in no. their no. business model. No, no. And we're just at the beginning of it. Just at the beginning. All I'm doing is I'm There's talking a lot about more. Or Yoshi talks about what's, what's going on to facilitate it. And, you know, and and... The whole thing is an industry. It's an industry. It's a. It's like a clock, yeah. and it's not going to stop till it gets its own way. Or we wake up and say, "Hey, you know, what's next? Russia, then China, and what? What are we going to get out of this? Right? A polluted, 
planet. We got the planet almost wrecked in the last couple of hundred years. And at what point are we going to just say, hey, you know, we got, if we took all of our money from the militaries and put it into technology or put it into communities, we'd have no homeless, no starving, no nothing. We can get rid of GMO. We can solve some of the issues. You know, we really could if we weren't utilizing everything for, for so much badness. Look what we can, we can do for bad if we could do that for good. My goodness. Raping their way across the country. They're raping their way back. They'll never stop. They'll never stop. This is what they do. Uh, exponential but Muslim. Here because of Syria, right? That's the, yeah. Right? Seven yeah. million refugees. Just, did, just, like I, I downloaded pictures all day of Syria. Syria doesn't exist anymore. No. Right? It's, we, just, we, we sent, it's we sent vulcanized. All it's all trash. And, and all our helicopters and ships and everything we could send over there to blow it up. We gave them everything they wanted. And that's not them. That's us that done that. Of course, our money. They couldn't have done it without us giving it to them. Absolutely. I'm, I'm saying that like it is. They couldn't have done it unless we gave it to them. They yeah. couldn't have done it unless we helped no, them. No, we funded them, we directed them, said, no. trained them, all of it. Exactly. Moder Remember this this whole line about moderate it was Muslims or this moderate rebels? We got to support the moderate the rebels. Military. There are no such thing as moderate rebels. They're terrorists, all of them. Um, okay. Exponential Muslim population growth in India at the borders as the Hindu population is shrinking, uh, Yoshi, the, the world Muslim population is is rocketing. Yeah, it's a, it's a program. Yeah, it's definitely a program, uh, bad as any other religious group, but worse in the sense that they believe in conversion. Uh, many of them, not all, but many believe in conversion by force, conversion through political power. And uh, that's what's dangerous. That's why it was important to live and let live, right? Uh, good fences. Make good, strong fences, make good neighbors. That's a policy that should have been maintained. But We should stay out of there. They should stay out of here. Exactly. exactly. It's not like a bunch of Christian Westerners are flooding the rest of the world. The, the, the flood's coming the other way. And this no. is deliberate. This is by Over nature. 2 million yep. Muslims migrated, so-called migrated, to Germany just last year alone. Yep. 2 million just last Incredible. year. That's million. For 10,000, yeah, yeah. we created 7 million refugees. For 10,000 Taliban, we created millions and millions and you're, millions. You're, you're totally right. There's an endless 10, supply. They, they'll, they'll never stop. Drone strikes. They'll never it's, stop coming. Never. 5 million rounds a yeah. month for 10,000 gangbangers. Europe's uh, Muslim We're rape idiots. epidemic. Cologne is happening in Europe every day. You just don't hear about it. It's being yep. covered up by the media. Yep. Yep. Uh, I, I have friends in Germany in refugee work. They they are so depressed. They just say, "How can this be?" You know, every town is now well, is, is essentially infected. There's well, an infection it, going. Mrs. Merkel, a, a lethal uh, infection. Yeah. infection. Yeah, thirteen percent. Changed Europe has been lost. They held the Turks at the, the gates of Vienna in the 17th century. Drove and they're them back. back, and they're back again. But they're over the wall now. They're over the walls now, and they're inside in every town. Every, you know, every block everywhere and you know if they were you know really the good civilized people respect their host societies and realize you know that these are the antithesis there'd be of no that problem. is reality there'd be no problem but there's not there's total disrespect and disdain and hatred for the host and i think that's really wrong and that's what makes them different than other refugees legitimate refugees who are thankful and grateful and happy to be well, yeah, Dana's point there. is that I, we created I, many of these people, but a lot of them coming over are not really refugees at all. They're, they're just they're all. they're no, men they're, of they're fighting they're age. They're coming from they're Somalia. Sure, Ethiopia, and they come from Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa. They come from the Middle East. They come from anywhere, yeah. uh, and they're just bodies. And there are very few women in these pictures. You notice that these are fighting age men. And there are weapons being prepositioned in Europe. They're already prepositioned now. They have been. Yeah. They're bringing more in through containers all the time. Uh, yeah. 60 million Muslims now, just a random guess, are favorably behind ISIS now and slaughter. Yeah. Uh, they're, yeah. they're okay with that. Uh, that's not a problem. And, and, and now Tim Kaine's people wants to impose gun control on native-born uh, Americans. Perfect, perfect Kane, perfect. So all the guns are in, hand, are in the hands yeah. of the jihad. Gun control that is, that's no, gun control is the that's uh, last, like that's yeah. the last rights yeah. of America. That's the end. Yeah. That's the end. That's defenseless. Defenseless. It'll be worse than... No, that's what America. they want. So, so you know... rape squads, but nine, I mean, nine years, they got right. 10,000 people, 5.5 million rounds a month. If they've done that in New York or in March through any country doing that, 
uh, and you send that population across any border, it's going to be chaos. If you would like serious flat, serious flat, they flatten the entire country and is polluted. Beyond, look at look at beyond. Aleppo. Uh, just a uh, depleted uranium uh, dump. Now that's nothing. Yeah. She just level it and start over somewhere else. From the west coast there. The yeah, invisible uh, invasion. America. Yeah. America is just being destroyed. Let's face it. Once a nice country, once a hope for democracy, once a hope for uh, equality, all those wonderful things, education, all those things that people believed in, now just being shattered, just being destroyed and subdued, subjected, and uh, put to death. Basically, America is being put to death. It is. It's, okay. uh, it's euthanized. Uh, yeah. yeah, euthanized. Yeah. Just Absolutely. like that case in Tokyo, you know? You go in there, and you just put people down. I, I want to mention again that last hour Dane Wigington was on, and he said 300 species a day, a lot of insects especially, are vanishing forever. They're not going to reset. They're not going to come back, Dana. They're, when they go, they're gone. There's not 300 species left on the coastline. Yeah. And you got uh, all four reactors at the Donny plant. They were going to, they did steam them, vent them, allegedly, and they feared there was containment vessel damage. Mm -hmm. And so there, it wasn't just the Fukushima Daiichi uh, that released that radiation, no, which was Daini. enormous amounts. The it was one. the Donny too. See, that was 10 kilometers away. And yeah. that was completely unupdated. That all that was put through a wood chipper like everything else. But there's headline after headline <laughs> after headline that they had smoked her before the tsunami, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. From and major place. releases. Mm -hmm. Yoshi knows lots about that. He's been down yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. There was accidents at Onagawa Station. Yeah. Right. Uh, we have no idea. I mean, there were so many plants. Uh, dumping their goods, then taking advantage of Fukushima, no doubt about it. And I'm sure Reactor Five they dumped it in the river. They, they yeah. Were, yeah, and they yeah, were taking it in the ocean. rivers. Yeah, it's I think ton, tons, tons of plutonium in the oceans. That's why the Pacific is dead, and uh, it, it's, yeah. it's beyond irresponsible. Um, and, and the only hey, we do have one bright spot of news though. Hinkley Point is now in Britain. Uh, you know, the, the nuclear industry is preparing to put an end to Britain, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hinkley Point is now, is now held up. You know, and, uh, the, and what's really interesting, uh, here in Thailand, I get uh, uh, Sky News, yeah? And they did an analysis. The, the rate for nuclear power is double that of conventional power. This will be the long-term rate. Uh, all households will be, be paying twice as much on their electricity bill. So, obviously, Theresa May... God bless her soul, uh, has put a, you know, a review on Hinkley Point. Hopefully she'll stop it. And hopefully she'll stop the Horizon Project. And hopefully Britain will wake up. Its survival is on the line. Britain is not any bigger than Japan. And uh, one accident, it's going to be worse for them because they've, they've really bled off a lot of radiation into the Irish Sea, into their own farmland. So, so Brexit is yeah. Breaking the power of the globalists. Brexit showed that that breaks nuclear power, too. The globalists are the nuclear maniacs, and until their power is broken, we can't really seriously stop the advance of nuclear power and the destruction thing. You know, in so, 2011, Teco President apologized for the accident at the Fukushima Dodoini uh, nuclear power plant, not just the Diachi. You that never hear about uh, you November never hear before. about Tepco and Daini. Never. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Number it was, two. It was worse uh, than number two plant. Number they two plant. Had, there was that. Right. Yeah. They never got yeah, power there, there to those uh, there. pools either, see? No, they had to build a conventional plant. You know, Fukushima 2 could not come back online. There was internal damage that they never reported. You know, they, they never really reported. They don't talk about the other plants. There's cover-ups going on everywhere. I've never seen one story yeah. about any damage at Daini. Yeah, yeah, a total yeah, cover-up. And it's hell of it's radioactive run. Yeah, What's all that, the radiation Dana? figures you see are so Major bogus. Japan, I look at these maps. Go ahead, yeah, yourself. all the maps are off. It's far more radioactive. Oh all my goodness, those. yes. Oh my goodness. Plus, they had all the waste sites all over those same areas. That four hundred kilometer strip yes. went through a wood chipper. Maps, I yeah. mean, they they cemented the ocean floor in front of the the, the Achi plant because the rods yeah. and and the common spent fuel pool got pulled out there. That was nine million pounds, but yeah, exactly. an ins insider said Fukushima was uh, Donny was badly damaged. That was the major Japan Weekly, mm -hmm. and a book yeah. by a Fukushima worker said the bottom of the Donny reactor was broken through, and they had explosions oh, at that place. Right? I know, that's amazing. 
Yeah, they found cobalt sixty outside of uh, the dining. They admit to these these little things, and as you start adding them all up, right? There was fourteen though: the Daini, Okanagwa, the Tokai, um, and the Fush- Fukushima's. Chernobyl uh, was just one third the size and a thirty percent meltdown, and most of it stopped after ten days. They seen that elephant foot. That's not necessarily all of it stopped. It could have went down into the earth, but. Uh, it did, you know, it was one third the size and was graphite. It was a newer plant. It was built uh, just before it melted down. So uh, the Fukushima plants were built long beforehand. But uh, all those common spent fuel pools were on the ground when that tsunami came through. And then everything got wrecked around it, but we're led to believe everything uh, nuclear survived. There was uh, 1,500 barrels of uranium. They emitted cut fire and burnt during that at another facility. That was in updated by the water. There was so much went into the environment, and they only admit to the Diachi finally. And now they have, uh, they say the muron scan shows the fuel is at the bottom of it, but the actual analyst of those scans says, says different, that it's not there. And when you look at the heat temperatures recorded for these places, uh, estimates with just the handheld ones, uh, these were extraordinary temperatures. There's nothing going to make it stay there. If it burnt through the reactor, it went through the floor. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, they went through the same day. They were gone within a day. They never, they never hung out. And they knew. They, they yeah. knew. And we're, we're right. in trouble. This planet is in trouble. We're in serious trouble. You're, you're right. You're right about Fukushima too, because uh, you know the workers were far south of there. They were about four kilometers south. They couldn't get back toward, they couldn't actually house workers at Fukushima 2 until more than three years after the disaster. So they had to clean it up to be able to move workers close enough. You know, they were all stained by the uh, thermal plant in Hirono, Machi. They, uh, they, has, has there, there, they, excuse me, camp. Yoshi, has, yeah. has there even been any talk about trying to reactivate uh, number two, Daini? Well, there was a long time ago. You know, that was on, I think, assumption of false news. No, there's been no talk now. No. Yeah. It's basically, Ian Tefko is not talking about it. So there was obviously much greater damage there. There were the plan was, That plan was damage. destroyed. So not, it was wrecked. Yeah. There was no, I mean, the extensiveness of it. And having to take three years before you could establish a workers' camp on the edge of it, like right. over the hill between. It's not, it's not like in the, in the plant. It's on the, uh, behind the hill. Taking more than three years to do that. That, that says something. I've seen bags and bags of waste out there, so they had to come out of uh, Fukushima, too, okay? Because there's, like, huge mounds of waste there, and along with the thermal plant, which was doing some illegal weapons work. That was a huge site, too. So mm-hmm. massive amount of nuclear waste in that area. But on the map, Iwaki hardly shows any radioactive, uh, you know, uh, radioactivity presence, which is absolute nonsense. I mean, all the... Maps from the, you know, are just so unreliable, you know, the so-called from the scientists. It's all rigged, you know, it, 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 none of it's real, okay? Because I know from being there myself, I saw the, the waste come out of these places. Mass of truck after truck, like every three minutes, big mm-hmm. dump truck would come, come out of the gate. You know? Wow. Just down the highway, it was just massive. We're getting, I'm getting, uh, I don't know if you are, but I'm not getting any real information out of Fukushima at all, Daiichi. Nothing. None. Nothing. Zero. None. They've shut None. it down. Zero. They've closed the door, None. welded it shut. Nothing. Well, remember we used to get wall. stories about, remember we had, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, the, the, uh, it's four meters of water. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dead, we were getting stories like the dead rat was found. Remember that? Right, yeah. right. Rat, yeah, rat Zella? These were idiot right. stories. We don't get any stories. Nothing. Yeah. The Tokai Dining. Yeah, the interesting uh, was that with the gigantic days. rat. It's the biggest rat anyone's ever seen. Gigantism, right? It was our, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, it was proof that the animals were mutating. That's yeah? right. And what yeah. was he doing in the power supply? You know, he he was mutating, eating plastic. Very true, stuff, true, you know? very true. Big old cheetah. And then we yeah, had the story. So we used to get stories like, oh, if anybody took a, a shovel and took one shovel full of dirt out on most of the uh, surface of the plant, they'd get water would show up in the hole. That's how yeah. much groundwater yeah. was up there. Wow. That's, they, well, those stories are gone. The ice ball. They admit it, it's failed, okay? And this yeah. was during the rainy season. The rainy season would be over, so pretty soon, I assume in about three months, after the typhoon season, in the winter, we'll, you know, the ice wall is working, okay? Now, that's my prediction, but it has failed for the rainy season and for the upcoming typhoon season. 
uh, you know, that was a multi-million dollar project down the tubes. It was actually, I thought, as I told you, I thought it was an excuse to dump a lot of gravel around Fukushima uh, into along the seawall just to make it less radioactive around there. I think that's right, what Dave, it was Dave, really. Dave plowed most of the, because the buildings blew up the, and they threw the rods for a couple of miles. What you done was yeah. they went in with the remote control plows and plowed everything under it, and then they started laying yeah. cement and steel uh, plates, and then they paved over all of that. And that was ordered so that the homeless and the destitute and the immigrants can go in there and do uh, find uh, da- dangerous areas. But uh, a former Tokyo yeah. police chief said Tokyo Tepco wanted to withdraw from the Daini, not just the Diachi. Back yeah. in that was uh, June of nine two thousand twelve. That story come out. Hmm. Just more, when you go looking at it, uh, Fukushima, Wall Street Journal reported on the Doini, uh, still receives lots of radioactive fallout from Fukushima Daiichi. So they were muddling the water at, at the same time all along as this was happening. And, and I just keep bringing it up tonight just because that's so important is that there's four reactors, the same as everything else, yeah. where you don't hear nothing. You know, It's so hard to find yeah. any documentation on it. Well, the visual evidence definitely confirms your findings there. They were just truck after truck on Highway 6. To south. And Highway 6 was cut off, so it had to come from Fukushima mm-hmm. number 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. a Fukushima prefecture no governor uh, had demanded that uh, TEPCO decommission 10 nuclear power plants. And I covered that headline regularly in my shows. And so I, yeah. this is video, so I showed the show the headline for everybody all the time. But uh, so there's so many earmarks, and that's that's why we're seeing that die off of the Pacific accelerating to the to the point now where the war machine is screaming in everybody's head. I mean, we went into Syria as soon as Fukushima happened, and like you know we talked about before, there was all kinds of weird stuff that happened that year, from Osama bin Laden to Steve Jobs right. and everything else yeah. as distractions right. all year long, and then now the we reached the pinnacle. Well, and the art of war. Well, the, uh, go ahead. Yeah, the Yuriko Koike, uh, she's a breakaway LDP member, wasn't supported by the ruling party. It just uh, was elected governor of Tokyo. Uh, uh, she's a very savvy woman. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about her background. It's a little embarrassing. Uh, she, she's the new mayor of party, Tokyo, right? Yeah, and within the liberal Democrats, Ishiba, uh, leader of a major faction, is making moves to get rid of Abe. I think, uh, you know, I think uh, Abe has been trying to get rid of the emperor. He's been denying this nuclear thing. I think there's a lot of concerns here that maybe, you know, before the 2020 Olympics, they got to get rid of Abe. They got to take this nuclear thing seriously, figure some strategies out. You know, Tokyo's water supply is radioactive. They're going to be just caught completely because uh, you can't be, deny the fact of the radioactivity of water. Drinking water, you know, bath water in Tokyo. It's so everywhere. There's probably a move. They're going to have to depose Abe. They realize he's a he's a maniac. You know, he's, yeah. he's obsessive. He loves the nuclear and he worships the nuclear industry as a, uh, as a creation of his grandfather. And so I think the smarter, cooler minds and the liberal Democrats realize this can't go on. Once we're caught out, <laughs> it's everything is over. You know, uh, investors are going to pull out. You know, more people are going to leave Japan. They're going to be denounced by a big corporation. All right, I got so, a question here. Changes. How can that? How can the Asahi News Service put out a story? Yeah. New study on Fukushima reactor shows most fuel was contained. What are they doing? Did you see? The, yeah. Did you see? Did you see the graphic? It's like yeah. there was far more of the stuff outside the reactor than there was inside. What they did is they you forced the big management yeah. shake. Yeah. They they look forced the management shake up at Asahi. So basically. They have to do this for the government. You know, uh, they, they, they're just under massive pressure. And uh, so, you know, it's... it's oh, I see. Part. I see the graphic it's, now. I got it. I found the it. The graphic shows you, you know, there is a band of black across the whole bottom. Yeah. And there's no telling whether that radioactive <laughs> material is actually on the outside of the tank. You no. see? You see what I, I mean? I got it. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, That's there's funny. just a... That's just funny radioactive. radioactive. It's just... See? Radiation uh, mag- is like a magnet where a battery can magnetize a screwdriver. It's it's now can a screwdriver is magnetized. So the radiation yeah. they're looking at could very well be just the imprint left behind. Ridiculous. Most likely is yeah, right exactly. because once it melted through at these enormous oh, temperatures. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And then you know, and the uh, graphic is very tight on the bottom. It's cut off right. very tight. The muon 
leader obviously read below the reactor into the foundation, and all that's cut out of the picture. Yeah, they so, chopped it. The it's cropped. Is, it's cropped off. Yeah, yeah, it's cut really incredibly tight, right to the bottom of the reactor. Really ridiculous. Product. Everything that comes in contact with that fissionable material gives <laughs> off fissionable products to same exactly. as the fissionable material originally. The steel so, is completely radioactive. Yeah, right. the steel is radioactive. The everything will have traces of radioactive. Like Donnie workers yeah. uh, uh, in May the twelfth. Um, Donnie workers had to go to emergency rooms uh, after being at Unit Four at the Donnie plant, and, and the hospital was saying how they needed more water because they couldn't decontaminate the people, and that the plants were not wow. safe. But there was another one, wow. Tokyo, October the first, two thousand twelve. Uh, several months later, Tokyo Hospital for Sale will dispatch his doctors to Fukushima to treat the workers at uh, Diachi and Donnie. Hmm. And the Tokyo yeah. Hospital is owned by Tepco, right? Which is actually now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, Tepco yeah, you're right. So we're, we're talking about multiple disasters unreported. Onagawa, uh, as I said, further north, suffered damage that they covered up. The bay is radioactive. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, in Fukushima, too, yeah, the whole area around there is much more radioactive than any map that you see of radiation will suggest. They don't want to uh, show that Iwaki is so highly radioactive because that's a contractor center. You know, there's Department hey, of all Energy. Of, all of the international models there right now. show all of Japan Are being coded. All of the international models showed hmm. all of Japan yeah. coded right away. As the plume yeah. was coming out, the winds would change every couple of days and blow it one way, then it would blow it the next way, then it would blow it this way. It was like painting so a wall. Hard. You go this way, that way, then you cover the whole it's, wall. It's like a pendulum that gets longer and longer and longer. That's very and good. It covers yeah. more and more area as the wind changes and just keeps... It's like a fog that never goes away, but blows everywhere. And it it can certainly right was bad. You. Yeah. I remember the mornings were bad because that, they vented at night. You know? So the mornings were just a nightmare. And I'd be out there working with farmers in the morning. Wow. You could taste the stuff in there, burn your skin right away. I mean, you just feel, you know, all the guys were getting little red welts on their arms. It was horrible. It's hard on the volunteer. I remember when you were there. All that. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them have survived. Yeah, it's rough, sure. rough, rough. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let me go back, and I, I can't find the email. Somebody sent it, and I thank you, whoever sent it. I believe that the you know, gentleman was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I think, uh, and he said that there are very few insects there. Had another guy, as I mentioned last time, who took a trip from uh, Utah to, to Grand Junction, Colorado, said didn't have to stop to clean his windshield. He usually has to stop two, three times. Uh, they're clearly gone. They're not coming back. Uh, and people, I got one I see, email I seen from 30 species, 40 species. I said, I got so, one email so. from somebody, Dana, I'll send it if I can find it again, claiming that, uh, tide pool life has never been more rich up in the Seattle area. And da, 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 da. so I yeah, don't know. Those what. are friends of people I know, but, uh, from what I can gather, they're looking at the, uh, West side of Vancouver on the Southwest side, which is less affected because you got run off from Puget sound and you got the waves. You know, where Dana's working in, in those channel areas where the buildup is. So there could be something. I've I, I done that whole coast. I've done the entire coast. Yeah. Right from one end right to the yeah, other. Well, what, what's your opinion on the west side of Vancouver Island, on the seaward side it's gone. of it? It's you know? gone. Yeah, I've done it. It's you gone. gone. It's, it's uh, how would these side. people say they, they, they think that there's a lot of life in the tide pools? Then? What, what do you well, think? Well, because they don't know what well, life what, is, what obviously. There should be 600 okay, algae and yet. 78 species of sea anemones and 76 okay. species of starfish. And I can assure you it's yeah. not there because I've already done it. And so this yeah, is so lawyers. They, did they just got old forgot. pictures they probably. Did. And they, 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 used yeah, they admit that the uh, uh, starfish were gone, okay? And there's some sort of problem, they said, in the salmon. Okay, there's a problem in the salmon. Right, yeah. Salmon I know, I know this picture. Not talking about. These are hoaxers. Okay. Trust me. I, I sent you the so, – uh, didn't I send you the, the sockeye salmon count, guys? Yeah, I think I did. And whale, yeah. Yeah, it was the, the, a while back. And yeah, the, yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's, the, the salmon's been just whales. Feeling. I mean, you know, down in southern Florida, there is no kid salmon in the markets from the Pacific Northwest. Zero. It's all from Norway. No, no, not at all. Or chili. Or chili. Yeah, none, none. There's none yeah. in the market. So. No. All right. And money, money talks, right? Money talks. If there was, they'd be in the market. Southern California. That's true. Civilism. Uranium has like gone yeah. down every year since... Um, since Fukushima, and they got a seven-year supply for all the power plants on the planet already. They can't get rid of it. Prices dropped 27% this year already. 
Couldn't uh, happen to nicer guys. Let's go close. And not the <laughs> truth. Hugs for everybody. Hugs All for right, you, Yossi. Thanks, Yossi. You thanks Dana. Good thank luck, you. Good luck, Jeff. Jeff. Good luck, yeah. Yeah, you too, folks. Uh, Yoshi, thank you for the piece on uh, right. Khan. It was uh, extraordinary. You opened the door. A lot of people are jumping what in now. Baker. Yeah. We, yeah, after you spent some time in Pakistan in the Middle East, I spent a lot of time in the Middle East. You can spot these guys a mile away. You know, yeah, fakers. well, you nailed yeah. it. And the, they call them fakirs, but in the Arab world, they're fakers, okay? Yeah, well, to, right. for, to have the Democrats throw that in our face was... Uh, Another example of who they are, just scum. People were bamboozled. Wake up, folks. Wake yeah. up. And especially you people down there in Virginia, you know, take a close look at what's going on and tell the rest of us. Now, tell the rest of us. All right. Thanks, Yoshi. See you next week. All right. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, that's our report tonight on Monday. And a lot of information for you to think about, digest. And we will be back tomorrow night to carry on. Hope you're here. Have a good night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care.